No, I should probably heal Purr, truthfully. <sighs> Purr is so picky. It's like, I don't want to die every day. And I'm like, well, I mean, I kind of want you to die every day because I'm way too lazy to use things. But I guess, I mean, in the long run, financially, it makes more sense to not let him die because then I don't have to use a revive and a hyper potion just to revive, or just a hyper potion. But it's just so much easier to let him die. It feels fiscally more sensible when it happens, but I guess not. Uh, I'll just use another charge beam. Never mind, he's going to spring up and leave. That sucks. Okay, at least he was buffeted. He didn't avoid the buffet. Warren Buffett came back to strike. Bleh. Now, is this going to work? You have the one move that I, again, have had no idea what the correlation is between the Pokemon that have it. It's done by, like, whales and luchadors and who the hell... I think, like, the Mexican bush had it. I don't know. It's just weird. No one knows why that move is how it is. Well, I'm sure many people know, and there are actual... Don't kill me, please. Oh, thank God. I'm sure there are many actual real explanations for why Pokemon have bounce, but I don't get it. Maybe the luchador makes sense, because I feel like a luchador might jump for some reason. Like, jump ground pound, you know, do some luchador moves, even though I, I don't think I've ever even watched luchador in luchador wrestling. Is it called wrestling? Clearly, I'm well-versed in the uh, society of luchadors. Okay, uh, this is not going to go well, because we're both psychic. Um, hmm, we'll see. I'm going to hope that charge beam and its really overpowered attack raising is going to let me through this. It might, actually. I also might die from the first psychic attack because I'm too lazy to heal, but uh, it might. You never know. He's going to be obnoxious, isn't he? I might have to switch out to a real Pokemon. Although Purr's attacks, they're getting higher and higher, so we should heal Purr and then just keep going. And just hope that Alakazam uses, like, spoon juggling or something that raises his spoon awareness instead of actual moves. That, cause that's, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's a move. Like, I'm 88, like, no one, no one else could possibly know, but I'm, like, 88% sure that's a move, uh, Alakazam has. I was, what? I was hurled into the air? What? By what? I'm very confused. I did not see what he did there. Did he use Spoon Fling? That son of a bitch used Spoon Fling, didn't he? I could have sworn it just said it was hurled into the air. Maybe I misread that. Maybe it said it was healed. I thought it said it was hurled into the air. But I'm it's like 90% possible I'm completely insane. Or that's a move that like makes a Pokemon part flying type? I don't know what the hell that move would be. Okay, telekinesis, basically spoon juggling in how effective it is, and then he's dead. Yay, Purr's gonna get some experience. 2,247. What a sandy battle. Okay, well, he gave more than the last trainer, but unfortunately his end comment wasn't creepy enough to make him a true gentleman suitor, I don't think. So he did not give the appropriate 100 grand that you often give when you're trying to cover up for mistakes and make sure I don't go to the police, so that's unfortunate. Okay, so that temple has got a quicksand thing in front of it. I guess we're gonna fight this balding middle-aged man. Hey you, let's have a Pokemon battle. Okay. I have no idea where I am or where I'm going, but let's have a Pokemon battle. It's Engineer Jordix. Maybe you're the one causing all these rumbles with your drilling operations. Um, this is not gonna go well. I guess I'll use that move and then die in one hit to Slash. That worked out exactly how I predicted. Not really sure why I had Sand Island first. Uh, we'll just go to Panda. Okay, let's use Vital Throw. Or get completely destroyed. As I was saying, Extra Drill ends up kind of wrecking my team a little bit. Although Vital Throw, holy sh holy shit Vital Throw. I don't know why that did so much damage. I think Panda's just avenging his brethren who've died to this weird mole thing in the past, but... Or he's just angry that the desert's shaking a lot, and it's ruining his bamboo trees. Because as I've said before, this is the Panda's natural habitat, so... That could be why. Or I'm making that up. I do add a lot of random, completely not true backstory to this game, but whatever. I have such an awesome name. Yeah, you... Do you? What was your name? I forgot it already. Are you in... Case oh, I'm not at all, which means I don't know what your name means. 
Um, is Panda hurt? Kind of, but we'll still waste things on him anyways. Whatever. Let's actually switch Panda to the front, because Sand Crocodile, while fun, uh, is kind of obnoxious right now, because he's low-leveled, and he's full of sand, and he's a crocodile. So what's up here? Is he like a Pokeball? Okay. <sighs> like, I'm 90% sure it's going to throw me through the sand. God! <laughs> this game doesn't like me at all. So, either this game is being a complete troll, and you can't go to any of these stupid cool temples, or... I know I call them stupid and cool at the same time. Whatever. That's because they look cool, but they're also stupid. Um, yeah, I actually do want to use another repel because I don't want to fight all these stupid Pokemon. Or, uh, I have to stop the quakes before I can go to these temples, which is another possibility. Or, there's going to be random things popping up on my screen. That's a third possibility. But, we should probably check out this uh, cave right here, because it may lead us to many wonders. Or just an item. Or just a completely useless plateau. Uh, there is nothing here. Cool. This game is uh, making me happier and happier by the minute. At least we have a way to go, though. I'm not, like, lost or stuck. I can go over here, down the stairs, and fight more random... random people. How about you, little girl person that's in the desert? I've been trying to become a geomancer by controlling the sandstorm, but it's all for naught. I'm just a regular old psychic. Yeah, I hate it when that happens, when you have, you know otherworldly powers and then try to get other otherworldly powers and don't get those. It's a bummer, really. I hate it. Those are called psychic world problems. And that's called a bad joke. Vital world! Or vital... Really? Panda? You're already tired? It's been like eight... I mean, you are moving back and forth, so I can see you're like kind of doing some calisthenics or something, but... Um... It's kind of sad that you're already tired. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit depressing. Also, I can't wait to get out of this freaking sandstorm so that... Um... Well, now rest works. Jesus Christ. Great. Perfect. How much is Body Slam going to do? Okay, I might actually be able to take him out with this. Especially because he's getting buffeted. I think, yeah, just one more one more Body Slam and then another Warren Buffett attack is going to take him out. He doesn't look fast asleep. It looks like he's doing really shitty pig exercises. And I flinched from what? From the Sandstorm? Or from his rest. I was not paying attention to what that screen said, but I don't know what the heck. Did I really flinch? Oh, he's using Snore. Oh, Ben understands now, because that's an actual move that affects people, so. Ben's stupid, but now he, now he gets it. The full Grim Pig fainted. Beautiful. Panda's got some experience. Nah, we'll we'll keep in. We'll fight the weird Gorilla Rig Giraffe. Let's use good old Body Slam. If this hits more than two times, okay, okay. Pokemon's very reasonable today. Although we will need to heal Panda, which kind of sucks. <sighs> I feel like I'm making no progress in these videos, mainly because this is a large section of the game that just involves a bunch of desert. And then not much else. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my hardest before I end the session to actually get to something story related and or stopping the quake related. So at least next time we can do this thing. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I only have like 45 minutes to record. We will see. But uh, I'm really hoping. Um, you better not stop me, giraffe. I'm on a mission from my sense of guilt over nothing happening in this video. And out of anger for the fact that you just got a critical on that. Okay, body slam, you're dead. Cool. I'll fight the clay doll, whatever, I don't really care. Panda needs the experience anyways. Boy, I love this sandstorm. Okay. Have I mentioned how much I love this, uh... Not really the damage that matters, but have I mentioned how much I love the status effects making the battles last another five minutes every single time? It's pretty cool. Well, apparently Vital Throw is not a vital move I want to be using right now, as it's terrible. Let's hope Body Slam does something else we'll have to switch out. Uh, no. We're probably going to have to switch out. Especially before he decides to wreck our entire team. I guess he is just, you know, raising his defense and stuff, which is why that's happening, but... Let's see if uh, Hoopa's an ace in the hole. Or if he's terrible. Or, I mean, Choker. 
which makes me think of the random fashion accessory neck choker, but I just called him that because he choked and, you know, was caught by me. Okay, I got guard share. Thank you very much. I always appreciate that, Clay Doll. Okay, let's use Psychic. That didn't do anything. But that could be because of the types. I don't even remember what Clay Doll is. I think he's part Psychic, part Ground, maybe. Or he's part Asshole. I don't have no idea. Uh, Shadow Horse. I vanished. Is that what the is that what Choker was doing that entire time, when he vanished? And what the hell does that do? Like, I, I gr great, I vanished. Can I not be hit? Oh, no, I actually just use Shadow Force. Well, that's really cool. I guess that worked pretty well. Okay, Hoopa's doing pretty pretty good job. Good job, Hoopa. Uh, we're gonna switch out though from Hoopa. Again, Ace in the hole. We'll we'll use him when everyone else is kind of sort of more his level. We'll just go to Purr. 